Friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 6th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at the sun for the past 48 hours, as we've still seen some strong solar flares. We've got plasma filaments stretched across the surface of the sun. A long black rope in the southern hemisphere. That's what I'm talking about. We also have small coronal holes. Having a look at a 304 angstroms. Just an amazing sight of our sun. So grateful to be alive and to be able to share these images with you. And all this information keeping humanity aware and prepared. As we've still got 11 sunspot regions that are earth facing. And 3942, which is the top left bright fiery region, still producing strong solar flares. Looking at 171 angstroms here, coronal hole earth facing has diminished since yesterday. There's another one developing behind the sunspot region, cresting into view. That was quite a coronal hole event that we went through. Solar wind speeds upwards and over 600 kilometers per second just two, three, two to three days ago. I want to thank all the new followers. Welcome to Daily Events Worldwide. And thank you so much for pressing play. Thank you for all of the love and support to the channel. Another light here. We can see our heliosphere in action. We get to see the magnetic field action of a sunspot region on the top right-hand region. All these images brought to you by Go 16 and Noah at SUV. Having a look here, 11 sunspot regions, 3947, the culprit of many strong solar flares the past 72 hours. Other than that, these sunspot regions have been pretty quiet. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1, a minor radio blackout impacts expected as the solar winds are coming in at 531 kilometers per second right now. Still very fast. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, reporting the strong M-class solar flare, instantly putting us into the R1 range. And we've seen about 10 M-class solar flares the past two days. Solar proton flux coming down after being up into the S1 range. Geomagnetic activity coming down as well to being in a KP4 throughout the day today. Space Weather Prediction Center showing their space weather spiral. They have not updated since yesterday. So no new CMEs coming our way just yet. But stay tuned as these models do change daily. Most times. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral. Same thing showing the same CME taking off from our sun towards Venus as a yesterday. Having a look now at our sun for the past two days. A view through Lasco 2. This is where we can see all the cosmic energies leaving our sun. Especially showing the coronal mass ejections blasting off from the surface of the sunspot regions or plasma filaments. Not all sun events produce coronal mass ejections. And not all solar flares affect our planet. Another look here at our sun. This is showing the magnetic field. As it was interacting with an Earth-facing coronal hole just three to four days ago. Amazing images here of our sun's magnetic field. Severely disrupted with that coronal hole, Earth facing. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. Starting out here with the most recent being reported. 5.0, or sorry, 5.1 magnitude. Port Vila, Vanuatu. That's where we saw a big 7.2 earthquake a couple weeks ago. Deep earthquake here, 545 kilometer depth, Fiji. Little bird earthquake there, the Banda Sea, 4.8, about 250 kilometer depth. 
earthquakes in Japan, down into Taiwan as well, 4.5s ranging to 5.0. Notable 5.2 earthquake here, Tibetan Plateau, Western Xinjiang, China. As well a 4.0 magnitude there, Afghanistan and Iran seeing some odd earthquakes today as well with a 5.2 followed by a couple 4.9s, 4.4 there, Arabian plate. I'm sure is being activated by the African plate action as that continues the volcanic activity and the earthquakes. 4.9 there in Greece. South America, pretty quiet today, only reporting the 4.6 there. Northern Peru, Central America, quiet today as well. United States, no major swarms to talk about, but notable earthquakes up into Yellowstone and north, northwest into the Pacific Northwest, United States. Heads up, it's been pretty quiet the last couple of days, expecting something big here. We have seen some pretty deep earthquakes the last 24 hours, so... Heads up and have a plan and just be ready. This is a glance at the last seven days for shakers and movers across the world. Take a quick moment to thank you for watching. And please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you're enjoying the show right now. A lot of information shared here the daily events worldwide. Hashtag no fear here. Just aware and prepared. Something is brewing, my friends and family. 72 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. If you haven't seen the most recent volcanic activity report, please check it out. Released earlier today. African plate ready to split in two, maybe. But boy, oh boy. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. Having a look here at the SO2 forecast. Brought to you by the active and erupting 72 volcanoes across the planet. Big plumes coming out of Hawaii, Mexico, and Kamchatka. Big plumes coming out of China and as well Iran, India. Things are diminishing through Africa. And before this volcanic event at the Dauphin volcano or Do Dauphin, there was a huge plume over the Neri Marigongo and Neri Marigira volcanoes. They were active. All of a sudden, that plume stops. We had the big plume that literally inundated the planet. And now we've got some weather. Big, big time weather. We've got snowstorms, blizzard-like conditions affecting Atlantic provinces. Extreme cold temperatures flooding across North America and as well Europe in the long-range forecast here. Minus 40 degrees Celsius expected through parts of the prairies, Canada. Multiple systems coming through this week, but big high-pressure ridge off the coast of California, keeping things dry still. Having a look at the forecast models for the extreme cold that is whipping around, those purples are minus 20 to minus 30 without the wind chill. So extreme cold is on the way for most of Canada and as well United States. Long-range forecast, winter 2025 starting to pack a punch. And as I showed yesterday, the polar vortex is set up and ready to go. It's just a matter of time before these extreme cold temperatures from Siberia swirl around. Having a look around the rest of the world, multiple low pressure systems and strong ones affecting Europe and coastal regions of Ireland, the United Kingdom, low pressure system grinding into the Mediterranean and possible cyclone affecting Northern Madagascar and Parts of Zambia, Africa in the long range. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. Watch for a low to get trapped over the Australian continent for a few days. Set to bring in lots of moisture and convective energy across coastal regions. And then watch for in the long range forecast possible cyclone developing for northwestern territory of Australia. My friends and family down under, it's going to be a long summer. And we will have full details on your temperature forecast over the next couple of days. So stay tuned. Possible cyclone here. Forecast. Long range. January 20th.
for Northwestern Territory of United of Australia. Leave you here overlooking the North Pacific as there are multiple low pressure systems grinding up into Alaska and Northern BC over the next 10 days. And as shown in yesterday's forecast, upwards of 500 centimeters of snow are expected for mountainous regions of Alaska. Some strong systems across the Pacific over the next little bit. Huge high pressure ridge locked in. But extreme cold temperatures are going to battle that. Stay tuned, everybody, and thanks for watching tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay prepared, stay calm, and have fun. Thank you.